No. Um, and it was tough with the Battlehawks game on because uh, the other game we're going to talk about, the Celtics Lakers, Lakers game, that was on at the same time. It was tough. I had to back flip back and, and forth. forth. Uh, and much like this game, I was flipping back and forth. Uh, Lakers Celtics, great game. It's probably the best regular season game I've seen in a long time. The Lakers edged the Celtics one fourteen to one twelve. It was truly special. A couple main takeaways from that. Yeah, Tatum was unreal in that game. Forty one points, five rebounds, two assists. But he just like huge shots throughout the entire game. He was on it. Yeah, and so bad that the Lakers double teamed him, and they like that's how they won. Credit to the Lakers, they made right play, they made the right defensive play to shut down Tatum. They made other people beat him, and also yeah. they made the refs beat the Celtics too because there was a lot of yeah. bad calls down the stretch. The, the refs ruined a very good game. Of I the, heard a the, lot of complaining about it that was over the weekend. Awful. It was terrible. It it was the worst. And I don't blame the refs a lot of times. I say that, you know, we could have yeah. done something better, even on a bad as, call. As long as I've known you, you've always said, you know, you can't blame the refs on it. you got to play the game. Yeah. And, but are you, are you really and willing even, to say? I will say you can't blame it totally on the refs because, you know, they weren't, they, they weren't hurting them the entire game. But down the stretch, they made some terrible, terrible calls down the stretch. They stopped the replay first, the out-of-bounds. On Davis, they called it out on, I think, Brown. Mm -hmm. It was, they went to the replay, close play, can't see it. And, you know, I get it. You make a call, judgment call. They said off Celtics, fine. But when you go to the replay, and from my perspective, it was clearly off Davis's pinky. The pinky does not lie. It was, should have been Celtics ball. Instead, Lakers get the ball. LeBron hits a two point, uh, big shot to go up. And that's the game. Like, that's a big part. That's a big swing. Wow. Also, they gave uh, a foul and then a technical foul on Brad Stevens, which is the biggest slap in the face to Stevens. And I heard an announcer say this, and I, it's so true. Stevens gets punished for being the nice guy. Stevens never says nothing to the refs. Yeah. Frank Vogel, who should, is basically a glorified babysitter for the Lakers, <laughs> yelled at the refs <laughs> for the entire, like, two hours the, yeah, on the yeah. sidelines. He complained about every call. LeBron complained about every call. Like, every single one of them. But Frank yeah. Vogel, as the coach, complained every single call down the floor. Didn't get one tech. Brad Stevens questions him about the call. Get, uh, yells, say, what's, what's that? That's terrible. Get the tech. Really? Like, that's terrible. That's terrible. Like, how do you give Brad? St- you give That's Brad Stevens a te- tech because he raised his voice one time, and normally he's quiet. That's you know, wrong. Again, we've said this with the NFL, and we're say this with the NBA. Consistency matters. Yeah. Be consistent and treat people equally with stuff like that. If it's a if it's a foul or it's not, if it's a technical, whatever. If other people do it and they get away with it, you can't just let other people not get away with it. And I even you get know? like that some players are going to have bigger leash than others. Like LeBron can say pretty much whatever he wants and he's never going to get a tech. He's probably going to get limited fouls in the game. That's still really stupid. Compared though. to other players. I get it. it. Like that's just how the game is. But Frank Vogel is not a top coach. Yeah. Greg Popovich, he's been around the league a hundred years. He has the rings. He had Doc. He ha- you know, people that have been here and won, they probably have a bigger leash than someone maybe like Brad. Who hasn't won yet? He's a very uh, well liked and well respected coach. Yeah, but yeah. he maybe isn't at that level. Frank Vogel is a joke. Like that's like insulting that you're giving Frank Vogel more of a leash than Brad Stevens. Brad Stevens runs circles in that. It's, it was insult. It was absolutely appalling that they gave him the tech. It ended up not hurting them, and that's why I say like you can't always put the blame on the refs. I get it, but because he missed the technical shot, so it ended up just being, like, the bad call for the foul. Yeah. But still, it, it's the point's still there. It's terrible. It's, it's just a bad it's bad look for the game, and the refs took advantage of, the, uh, like, totally ruined the league. I think Kendrick Perkins said the same thing. The refs ruined the, one of the best games of the season. They did. They took it in yeah. their own hands. I tweeted out. I said... You know, and it's true. Like, if a ref really wants to be a part of the game, go join a men's league like the rest of us. Like, yeah. then you can have an impact on the game. Your job as a ref to, is just to officiate and keep yeah. the peace, make sure they follow the rules. You're not... 
Like, it, it, it's a very supposed to be a mostly objective game uh, position where either they break a rule or they don't. Yeah. You know, mo- most things in most sports, there are some that are subjective, but most of it's very much if you do this during this time or in this way, it's a foul or it's not. Yeah. But that whole talking to a ref a certain way, depending on who you are, you might get punished, you might not. That's really stupid. Let me let me say this. This is a, a good rule of thumb to go by. If you the best officials are the ones you don't know who they are. Yeah. Because that you they just do their job. They don't like they don't try to take their yeah. they don't give out texts. They don't call ridiculous yeah. fouls. They're pretty consistent. It's the refs that you don't know who they are. The bad refs, the guys that bang technicals we all the all time. You know their you names. Know, you know who they are. I can think of a couple of NFL. Right. Officials that we both know. Or I could think of a very infamous UFC yeah. official and ref that end up getting banned. Yeah. Because of the way he acted. So yeah. It's it's true. So that was the oh. one bad taste in my mouth. I, I can take a loss. And the thing I was talking to one of our f- former guests that have come on, Zach, and he said it too, and I agree. It gives you this should give the Celtics confidence going into the playoffs because oh, yeah. the Lakers are the number one team in the West, which is highly competitive. East is competitive too. But I think this gives you confidence going in. You can you can hang with these guys, and yeah. it would be a crazy series. I think I think it would be a down to the wire series. I really do. I oh, have yeah. I have confidence in the Celtics. They need another. Well, I hope they add someone off the, add someone in the buyouts. But we'll if you see. look at statistically though, points wise, something I want to point out: the Celtics have a much better spread across everybody for points. If yeah. you look at the Lakers. It's straight up Davis and James, and I know that's been the story anyway. Yeah. But this is extreme. We're talking yeah. Davis with thirty-two, LeBron James with twenty-nine, then nobody else is. Kuzma but, had sixteen. I mean, Kuzma is a nice piece off the bench. Yeah, and you got Howard with ten. But, but that's but that's not which like is at, nice at least with the Celtics, presence. they they have a more well-rounded team offensively. Yeah. Which sometimes that's a big deal. They definitely have more guys that can score the ball better at more yeah. consistently. Like, but it's also you... hard to outscore Davis and. LeBron, though. True. That, that's also tough. True. That's and, not an easy thing to do. Well, the first time they played, Anthony Davis was coming off an injury and was terrible. He, like, yeah. played off. But this time he played more like himself. He's an all-star. He had a double-double. And oh, what yeah. are you going to do? You got out, You got, You got. got beat by a good team. So yeah, it have confidence. The thing I love is Tatum was the best player on the floor that night. And... I think we're seeing him take big steps towards being a superstar in the league. Yeah. So that was that was what we had. Uh, that was our weekend recap. Some great games. 